I'm just going to show you how to use the crafting simulator on the website Final Fantasy XIV Team Craft because it's a fantastic simulator and it's what I used patch day when I wasn't melded enough to make the gear but I really wanted to. Um, so to the left you just click on the crafting simulator like I did and then you type in what you want to make. Um, since I'm talking about level 80 stuff I'm just going to make, and I apologize for my loud keyboard, a grade 2 tincture of strength. And it opens up here, and here you can input your stats if you click on the configuration tab up here. Um, I'm not logged in, so I'm just going to use the recommended stats right now. Like that, and then you click apply stats, and you can see that your CP updates right away. You can see all that. Um, you can also click specialist if you want and see everything get updated again. Um, if you have anything HQ, you can add it here. Let's say I have two HQ Aether Sands, gonna press apply HQ, you see it goes in right there. Same with consumables, we're going to use the current consumables. No free company actions, but you can pick them if you have them and apply those. And then you get to pick the skills you wanna use. Um, so I'm going to use one of the overpowered main macros people are using right now. If you scroll over something, it'll tell you the tooltip for it. And you can also see what buffs you have remaining up here. You can see that I got um, the one that gives you bonus CP because I'm a specialist, <laughs> but you can turn that off. Okay, so actually you can save your rotations that you make in the crafting simulator. So here's some that I had saved. Um, these are what it was like when Patch had just come out and I was using the uh, rotations that people had posted. So let's look at this 70 durability one for these gauntlets. But nothing is there yet. Let's see if I have my stats saved here. Okay, great. So these are the stats that I had when the books came out and I wanted to craft the new book items. And I needed to test these rotations before I wasted the mats on them. And I was eating matcha because I didn't even have the new one yet. And I had everything HQ. Oh, and that's enough. Um, you can see I even got a reuse in here because I had so many HQ mats that I could skip a lot of steps, but you could take that out um, and see how things get affected by things that you remove. You can just left click on something to remove it. Look, I didn't even need great strides <laughs> because everything was HQ. But there you go. So yeah, from here you can drag things around, just put them in, drag it around, see what it's like. If you finish the progress and you have extra steps at the end, it'll X them out like this because you reached 100% progress before these steps. So just drag that back over there. If it'll let go. Ah, sometimes it's a little finicky to move these around. There we go. Um, yeah, and you can just left click to remove it, and you can test, oh, what if I didn't have HQ items, how would it go? And then try adding them back in. That's what I wanted. And let's say you get better food, just click apply consumables after you update anything. Maybe your stats got better. And you can add specialist here, so then you get stroke of genius. Um, and finally, if you're happy with your rotation, which obviously this one isn't perfect, but you can click on this, generate in-game macro, and it will give you, in this case it's one button, and you can just copy paste this into the game, and it works perfectly. Um, it doesn't have space for a 
um, echo to tell you that the craft is finished because to fit it into one button took all 15 lines. But if it's split into two macros, they usually put a echo to tell you macro one done. It's pretty nice. Um, you can also just click this to copy it, or you can select it all and then copy. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, enjoy using this simulator. I think it's a really excellent simulator. You can click this to change the recipe at any time, and it'll keep all your stats. Let's go back to that strength plot. Oh, it doesn't keep your stats. <laughs> but if you configure them in your profile, then it would keep your stats. Um, but yeah, enjoy using this simulator. Thanks for watching.